Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. Today is Friday. Yes. Um, just got through watching Snow White and the Huntsman. Pretty decent. I uh, still stand by my Kristen Stewart can't act or that she's hot. I, I, I stand by that wholeheartedly. Uh, I still don't understand why people think she is, but that's just me. Um, Charlize Theron, on the other hand, banging. Just wow. Uh, personally, I think uh, Chris Hemsworth, the uh, the Huntsman in the movie, I, I I would be willing to say that he carried the whole movie. Uh, him and Charlize Theron being the villain, and him being the Huntsman. Um, but that's just my opinion. You know, it's a uh, it's definitely worth watching. It's pretty good. Um, kind of slow in parts and. You know, there were some parts that you're just like, what's going on here, yeah? <laughs> but, uh, other than that, it was, it was okay. It was pretty good. Today was a, another boring day at work and very slow again. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, it's very unusually slow for this time of year right now. Very slow. <laughs> I mean, we usually, when summer starts, work picks up pretty good. And now we're lucky if we get, I don't know, 25 jobs a day, you know, and for 10 techs, that's not a lot of work, you know, but, you know, nothing I can do about it, it's just weird, you know, I don't know what's going on, it's just a little weird. Um, the thing I want to talk about today is uh, DC Comics announced who their uh, gay superhero was, which... You know, it's not a big deal if they, you know, who turned out to be gay. You know, they said it was one of their major characters. It really wasn't. Um, it was a Green Lantern, not the Green Lantern, a Green Lantern. And it was an alternate universe Green Lantern. So it's not, it wasn't one of their mainstream ones, you know. And it's a little weird to announce, yeah, one of our main characters is going to turn out to be gay, and then it's a parallel alternate universe character. You know, that's not one of your main characters, you know, which I could care less either way as long as it wasn't Superman or Batman. Because, and before I get, you know, people riled up over this, it's, they're iconic. They're pretty much set in stone. You cannot change the, the, you know, the past like that for them two characters anyway. Wonder Woman, I could see being a lesbian because she grew up in, you know, Amazon culture. It's not like, you know, it would be, you know, weird, you know, because that's all she's ever known is women. So, you know, it would make sense. Now, Superman or Batman, you know, you, as a comic book nerd... And as a human being, you know, uh, I just could not take either one of them seriously if I knew that they suck dick. I'm sorry. You know, uh, you, you couldn't be staring down the Joker as Batman and then go, uh, not really scary. He blows guys. You know, so it's just one of those things, you know. You, uh, even if you don't intentionally do it, you do think of... A gay man as being more feminine, so you can't, you know, take Batman as seriously. I mean, and Superman, you know, he's Superman for goodness sake. You know, it. I don't know. It just they're too iconic, in my opinion, to just throw that in there all willy nilly. Like, oh yeah, he's gay. You know, that's you can't do that on those two characters. Um, I expected it to be someone in the Batman family, you know, like a Robin or a Batgirl or something, which apparently Batwoman is lesbian. I did not know that, um, but that's cool, you know, no big deal, but I assumed somebody in the Batman family would be, you know, turn out to be gay, you know, like I said, a Robin or something like that, because of the simple fact that, you know, the Batman movie's coming out. They needed to drum up a little you know, publicity or something, but, um, I was wrong, you know, uh, the character that came out, or is gay, is, uh, 
a Green Lantern from the Earth 2 comics, which is another Earth, you know, a parallel universe, which I think it's a cop-out, you know. You're going to say this big reveal, one of our main characters is going to, you know, he, he's gay, and it's not one of your main characters. You know, you basically just slap people. You know, Ha-ha! You know, slap. But, you know, I could care less either way as long as it wasn't Superman or Batman. Because, you know, that would be... I was all up in arms when uh, people wanted to make Spider-Man in the movie a black guy. Which, I, Donald Glover, he's hilarious. The guy's awesome in Community and his comedy specials. They're great. But he's not Spider-Man, you know. He could play the Miles Morales Spider-Man from the Ultimate Universe, but he's not Peter Parker, you know. There's some things you just can't change. And, you know, that's like all these people who are uh, gung-ho about, you know, Star Trek or Star Wars or something like that. You know, comics are my baby, you know, and you, you can't mess with iconic characters like that, you know. I can see from DC's point where they're thinking it's a major character, but it's not. Come on, DC, let's be honest. A parallel universe Green Lantern... Come on. Yeah, you had four mainstream, regular reality Green Lanterns that you could have chose from. One of them you couldn't. Hal Jordan you couldn't because he's basically Bruce Wayne with the power ring. You know, he's a womanizer. You couldn't really use him. But you had three others. You know, come on. But that's just my rant on that. You know, um, I'm proud of comics being, you know, opening up about sexuality stuff like that it's you know it's making it more mainstream that way people aren't as oh that's taboo you know it's it's part of people you know it's it's culture now you know being gay is not such a big deal anymore and you know it's just one of those things so uh, that's my rant for today if you will and as always, if anything interesting happens, I'll turn the camera back on and let you guys see it. Uh, if not, this will be the last time you see me till tomorrow, guys. So have a good one, everybody.